Hi, my name is Chris and today we have the Amazon Halo. I've been wearing this for a week now and I'm just going to start with my recommendation. I don't recommend it. I'll start with a list of why I don't and then go more into depth with the details later in the video. There are a few things I liked but they weren't enough to outweigh the downsides for me. So let's get straight to it. First off, you have to jump into the app to get your info, which means I'm pulling out my phone way more. Second, battery life is absolutely garbage if you have the tone feature turned on. It barely lasts a day for me if you have full tone turned on. Three, charger is super finicky, sometimes only charging part of the way and then disconnecting. Four, the body fat measure doesn't even need your band. It just uses your phone and I'm worried a bit about privacy here. Five, it's kind of a pain in the butt to put on and take off. It's not really efficient. Okay, let's start with the first point, which is having to jump into the app to check my info. Whenever I want to check my heart rate or the tone of my conversation, I have to check my phone and then also wait for it to sync first. I know I'm being a little bit biased here, but I am comparing it to the convenience of an Apple Watch, which has a screen. Personally, I think Amazon missed a huge opportunity here. They don't necessarily need the screen, but they could have easily added a small LED light under the threading to give us signals at the push of a button um, here. Like, you know, maybe green for when your heart rate is normal, red for when it's going up. Maybe another light on the side to let you know what your tone is by color. Red for when you sound angry, green when you're at peace. Something nice and simple. Secondly, they said the battery life can last up to two days with tone enabled, but that's only if you have less tone turned on, which means it listens and analyzes your conversations much less. With more tone turned on, I only maybe got through half my day before I ran out of batteries. And you might say, just turn it off. Sure, I could have, but having the tone feature was literally half the fun for me. Lastly, just as a note, it supposedly can go seven days with the tone turned off. Third, the charger is absolute garbage for me. Getting it to fit right is a pain in the butt and you really have to finesse it to align the connector. But not only that, sometimes it stops charging halfway so you walk out thinking you have a full charge when in fact you only have 20%. This is the downside of not having some more signal lights. Right now, it only lets you know charged versus not charged. And not charged could be 15% or 90%. Fourth up, the body fat measure only measures it through the app on your phone. You don't even need the band on your wrist. It also does it through multiple pictures, which is kind of sketchy for me because I am worried about privacy. It basically asks you to get into your underwear or swimwear and then take a picture of your front, side profile, and back. Amazon does say it deletes the picture, but you know how do you really know for sure? Fifth, with some watches and bands, you can easily put them on with one hand. For this, I have to use both hands, and even then, it's kind of a pain because the Velcro is in sections, and I'll get caught on the buckle. Not to mention, Velcro does degrade over time. I've only used this for a week so far and some fibers are already breaking. I'm kind of wondering how long this will hold up in the long run. Okay, that's the list of negatives. Now, I do want to mention some of the positives because those are just the cons that matter to me. You may hold a different weight for different functions and features. Firstly, I have to commend Amazon on the tone feature. That shit is cool. For me, it was extremely accurate and at times I was surprised at how well it was able to identify my tone and mood. For example, I was playing League of Legends and my team was losing like crazy. The band was able to correctly identify that I sounded irritated, sad, and discouraged. But let, let me tell you, this was more of a novelty thing for me. The first three to four days, I kept checking in to see you know, what I sounded like and you know, what my mood was. And then eventually the novelty wore off and I stopped checking it. Also, I think some other people that I've talked to about this band are worried that the conversations are being recorded, potentially leading to less genuine conversations. Just my two cents though. Moving on, the heart rate monitor is really accurate and I like how they gamify exercising. You get points based off the intensity of your workout and it was definitely pretty satisfying seeing my score go up over time. If I had a friend who also had an Amazon Halo, I'd definitely like to compare you know, points and scores with them. Lastly, it's got a cool aesthetic and I barely felt it on my wrist because it's so light. If you're looking for something super minimalistic, this is a good buy. And just as a note, I tried the sleep monitor and it works fine. Not very descriptive, I know, but I don't really have much experience with sleep monitors, so I don't think it would be fair of me to give my opinion on it here. At the end of the day, should you buy it? For me, it wasn't really worth it. At 99 bucks, 65 during early access, it's not super expensive compared to some others, but what really pisses me off is a $4 a month subscription fee. Apple doesn't make you pay one for its health functionality, so why should I pay an extra four bucks here? Now, as a disclaimer, the things that matter to me might not matter as much to you, if you care a lot about heart rate accuracy above all else, if you really care about how you sound to others, then by all means, this is for you. For me, it's about convenience and efficiency and this band just didn't cut it. Having to pull up my phone all the time, the charging, and even putting on the band for me was, was a pain. And that pretty much sums up my experience. I'm generally curious though, let me know if you buy one down in the comments below. I'll put the link to the Amazon page just in case you wanna check it out. That's all for the day. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you for the next video.